For this video, I'll be working through question two of the level three 2017 waves exam. Question two, Mike and Kate are tramping, uh, on a tramping trip crossing a suspension bridge. They realize that the bridge jump, realize that by jumping up and down in a particular way, they can set up a standing wave on the bridge. The bridge is 24 meters long. So just to highlight that again, um, notice that's three SF. Um, one small thing actually, the, the years that I'm doing this is I think my third year making the videos, they have become very, very, very consistent with making everything 3SF, so maybe someone's watching my videos somewhere. Right, describe one difference between a standing wave and a travelling wave. Um, there's a whole lot of differences, but we'll go with the first one. So I'll just pause the video, write it out and explain. So I said a standing wave requires two waves, whereas a travelling wave only one. A um, little more detail into that. It's correct in saying two waves, but you only need one wave source. So you really need a boundary where the wave can reflect and then come back and then superimpose on the incoming wave. You need So you do need two waves superimposing on each other and interfering constructively and deconstructively to make a standing wave, um, whereas a travelling wave could just be a single pulse. Um, on the definition of the word, travelling waves transfer energy, standing waves do not. Standing waves can't transfer anything because they're standing. Even though they require, like, the the travelling waves that are required to make a standing wave, they can transfer energy, but the standing wave in of itself cannot. Which is like a weird sneaky definition, but whatever. Um, a bridge can oscillate at many harmonics. Show that the frequency of the third harmonic mode is f is equal to three times the velocity divided by two times the length where length is the length of the bridge sweet as so it's a bridge it's fixed at both ends so we know and here's a bridge we know that both ends are going to be nodes aka no movement so let's just draw that here's a node here's a node we're gonna have to have something in between this is a very very crudely drawn the first um, harmonic and this is we'll draw a node inside of our node combination this is going to be the second harmonic because we're doubling the wavelength which means we're doubling the the length of the wave which gives us double the frequency um, I think it is the uh, it's the first overtone, second overtone. It's been a while since I've done the overtone, so don't quote me on that. Um, and this is going to be, I have to have one, two, three. That is going to be my third harmonic, because it is three times the original wavelength. That's the third harmonic. Sweet as. So, the third harmonic has, that's one full wave. You see that's one full wave and a, and a half of a wave. So in other words, L is equal to one and a half. Another way to write that is three over two lambda because it can fit three over two lambda, or three over two wavelengths inside the length. So now what we're going to do is we are going to write this out slightly neater so we'll write l is equal to three over two lambda we're going to rearrange v equals f uh, lambda how am i going to do that there you go v equals f lambda in other words lambda is equal to v over f sweet i'm going to substitute this velocity divided by the frequency into our equation here so that is also equal to three over two um times v over f and now all we need to do is we'll move the f up and the l down so we're going to go just write it i'll just write it properly down the bottom in other words f is equal to 3v over move the l down the two and the f up to l and that is what they get easy peasy lemon squeezy right the bridge oscillates at a fundamental mode of, or with a period of 1.8 seconds. Calculate the speed of the waves 
in the bridge. Well, I'll just quickly write out what all the rest of the harmonics are as well. Um, the first is L is equal to half lambda, and L is equal to lambda. It's probably going to make this a little bit easier for later on. Um, right, we've got the period. Period is equal to the 1 over the frequency. That is in your formula sheet right about there. I'll shift this over a wee bit. Um, right, so we'll work out the frequency. We just need to go, if it's 1 over F, we can take the inverse of that. So we take the inverse of that number, 1 over 1 1.80 is equal to F, which is equal to 0 0.55 recurring hertz. Um, I'll just keep it like that for now until I get to my final answer. Um, right, now what do I need to do? I need to... That's the fundamental frequency, so that's the first harmonic. I'm trying to find the velocity equals f lambda. I have the frequency, I need to find the wavelength. The wavelength is equal to, in the fundamental, it is half the... Oh, no, it's not. The wavelength is 2 times lambda. 2 times L, 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 L. Because I'm going to move... 2 over there, so lambda is equal to 2L times both sides by 2 gets rid of the half. So 2L, in other words, lambda is equal to 48 because the bridge is 24 meters long. 24 times 2 gives me 48.0 meters. In other words, 0 0.55 recurring times 48 gives me 26.7 meters per second. Notice 3SF because you're level 3 physics. Sweet as. Right. Mike is six metres from one end, Kate is six metres from the other end of the bridge. Give a comprehensive explanation of how it is possible for Mike and Kate to cause the bridge to oscillate in the second harmonic mode. In your expl explanation, you should draw a label diagram. It should really be, let's cross this out. You must. Not should. Draw a label diagram of the bridge oscillating in the second harmonic mode. Explain how they set up a standing wave, why they chose to stand in the position stated. Explain the phase relationship between the oscillations. Sweet, let's get our ruler and draw up our trusty diagram slash bridge. So we'll make it, yeah, that'll do. That's one end, that's the other. We'll put down here 24 meters because that's the length of the bridge. Here is 12 meters. Smack bang in the middle, here's six meters. Um, Mike can stand here, because he's standing six meters. And Kate can stand over here, because she's standing Kate. And this is 18 meters. And this is zero meters, because we'll just, we'll make that our origin, we'll go out from there, whatever. And 24 is the length of the bridge. Right, we're gonna set up a second harmonic, which means we need to fit one full wave in. So let's just, Draw There we go. Notice that this is this has got to be like it's a bridge, it's a string, so you can't have you don't want to go ahead and draw that one up there, otherwise that makes no sense. Otherwise you've got two bridges somehow doing stuff. Um, so at any one point in time the physical bridge itself will either look like that there and that there's when it's in max oscillation, it'll wop wop back and forth as traveling waves pass back and forth down the uh, down the bridge. Right, so I'm gonna pause the video. Oh, we'll just write here a second harmonic, and I'll write out all the. I'll write out the answer and then discuss it. Right, so I've said in order to set up a standing wave, transverse traveling waves must be sent to the ends of the bridge. This causes the waves to invert, reflect back, and interfere with the oncoming wave. They choose, so that's the first, how do you set up a standing wave? You need to send it to a, to a fixed point where it can invert, reflect, and interfere with the oncoming wave. Um, they choose to stand at the antinodes where there is maximum displacement. Um, that's w why they choose the position state. In reality, if you're actually doing this, so if you've ever done this before, normally what you do is you stick one foot on the node and the other foot on the antinode. Well, you don't want to stand right on the antinode, otherwise it's hard to time yourself with the maximum displacement. But let's assume this 
bridge can't really go up and down very much. So fair enough, stand in the middle of the uh, of the antinodes. Um, Mike and Kate need to jump up and down 180 degrees out of phase, i.e. Mike goes up, Kate goes down, and vice versa. And we can see that there. So when Mike's pushing down, Kate needs to be jumping up, and when Mike is jumping up, Kate needs to be pushing down and so on and so forth. Um, we'll just check we've done everything, draw a label, diagram. No, we haven't done a label, so that's a node. That's an antinode. Uh, I'll just put N, A, N. But it should be labeled fully. Um, that's it.